I can guarantee you that this meal in my crock pot is better than a lot of people's Thanksgiving meals because I've had some really bad Thanksgiving meals. And of course, this is not as good as my homemade chicken and dressing that y'all will see, but it sure is good on a Wednesday night in August. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Connor Valley Cooks. Me and Amy were in the grocery store a while ago. We seen a turkey breast on sale. So I'm gonna show y'all how to throw together. This of course is not Thanksgiving dinner. This is a quick dinner for uh, a meal at home, just a regular night. going to cut up an onion real quick. Amy, will you hand me the celery on the fridge real quick? Celery. Got a helper today. Thank you, Amy. Alright, we're going to slice up this onion real quick. on top of my dressing. You can kind of mix it up a little bit if you want to. Now we're gonna take some celery. I love celery. If you don't like celery, put it in there anyway and chop it really, really small and you'll never know it. We want to get this in the crock pot and get started so we can eat a few hours because I've been out all day doing a million things. Now, we're going to take our turkey out of the package. I'm going to show it to you, but I'm going to run it over to the kitchen and I don't have time to show you that part. I'm just going to show. Okay, here's the turkey I bought. I don't have time to show y'all. I'm going to take it over to the sink. I'm going to rinse it off, and I'm going to bring it back over here and slice it up the way I want it, okay? So I'll be right back. All right, we're going to take the... They've got this on there so you can cook it in the oven, but we're not doing that. I'm going to slice it thin so it can get done quick. So i got to take this off of it. It's got a little pop-up thermometer in it and everything. Nice. This thing was expensive. It wasn't cheap, I can guarantee you that. I don't think I'm going to use all of it in our in our supper because I think I'm going to roast a little bit of it in my rotisserie for sandwiches. So, and I think I'll leave that pretty fat on there for that part. I think we're just going to use this end part. And then I'll save this for sandwiches later. Okay, so let's take the fat off because so we're going to put that in our crock pot. And we're going to slice this pretty thin. I can't slice it real thin because it's not frozen or nothing. And we're going to lay that in our crock pot. got me some good potatoes. Thank the Lord. Beautiful. They're not rubbery. They're not old. They're not wrinkly. They're nice and crisp. That's the way you want them to be. Nice and crisp. Alright, 
this is poultry seasoning. Not plain sage, but poultry seasoning. So I'm going to sprinkle some in there. Since I'm using bouillon and cream of chicken, I really don't think we're going to need salt. So I'm going to put a little pepper in it. Now we're going to take our cream of chicken and we're going to pour it on top of our turkey. Like that. Potatoes. Put our potatoes in. Make sure you spread them out so they get done. Put the rest of your stuffing in. I put this over the top of our stuffing and turkey. It's got plenty of juice in it. Now, that juice is going to soak up in that bread. A lot of it. So watch me. I'll cook with my hand, y'all. Pull it apart from the side. Just pull it. Dump your green beans, juice and all, into the corner. Just like that. Take this side. Pull it apart. Now, if you've got a little crock pot, it might be a little harder for you to do this, but you can uh, use your imagination. Look how pretty that is. Lord, y'all, I about forgot one of the, a very good ingredient. What do you make? You always had to put a little what? Oil or s butter or something in it. And I didn't. And I just happened to have some at room temperature because I make so many sweets. So, I'm going to put some on here. So, let's put some on our green beans. Normally I put oil on those, but today's going to be special. Put the lid on it. little rubber band that came with mine. I think mine was only like, I want to say about $17. And it's got chalk, a chalk thing on the side so you can write on it if you're taking it somewhere. You can put your name on it or you could put the, the name of the, uh, you know, the name of the recipe that you're making on the side of it. It's really cool. So anyway, see you guys. I'll come back and check on it in about an hour and a half and see if I need to add water. Hey y'all, it's Tammy. Well, I want you to see our wonderful um, turkey dinner. And I made this pie. I'll show it to you in a different video. But we're going to plate our turkey dinner and we're going to open up some cranberry sauce right quick. So, I'm just going to cut this up for us. So you guys know that we're having this type of a meal. We've got potatoes. A layer of potatoes. We've got green beans. Put those on the plate. I gotta reach down in there and try to find me some turkey. There's some turkey. There's one piece of turkey. There's some turkey. I can guarantee you that this meal in my crock pot is better than a lot of people's Thanksgiving meals because I've had some really bad Thanksgiving meals. And of course this is not as good as my homemade chicken and dressing that y'all will see, but it sure is good on a Wednesday night in August. We have turkeys on sale. Thanks for watching y'all.